Number 10. Francesca da Rimini Shipwreck Built in 1942, the Francesca da Rimini was an Italian-owned cargo ship that transported war supplies for the Axis powers during World War II. While carrying a full load of gun shells, explosives, and other ammunition for German troops in North Africa in 1944, the vessel encountered engine problems and anchored off the Croatian island of Caprige. It was struck by two torpedoes from British Spitfire aircraft and sank during an air raid, taking its explosive cargo with it to the sea floor. The Francesca de Rimini is one of two Italian ships that sank off Croatia during the conflict. The other, originally called the Giuseppe Deza and renamed the TA-35 for German use, was a minesweeper that also sank at the hands of the British. It met a particularly violent end, breaking in two before it came to rest in its watery grave roughly six miles off the Croatian coast. Number 9. Dogger Land During the last Ice Age, a vast swath of territory connected what is now Britain to mainland Europe. Known as Doggerland, it functioned as a seasonal hunting ground for Mesolithic hunter-gatherer societies. As glaciers melted toward the end of the Ice Age, the hills, marshes and valleys and swamps that once dominated the landscape became vulnerable to rising sea levels. Doggerland was ultimately wiped out by a tsunami around 8,000 years ago, leaving Britain separated from the rest of Europe as we know it today. Parts of Doggerland initially survived in the form of small islands and continued to be inhabited for roughly a thousand years before they too sank into the sea. Its existence is known by the growing array of artifacts that have been recovered from now submerged sites where human ancestors once camped, ate, hunted, and made tools. Included among the collection are hyena remains, flint tools, artwork, and ancient human and Neanderthal bones. In recent years, researchers have been trying to locate evidence of a submerged Stone Age settlement, which theoretically should be possible since thousands of people were thought to inhabit Doggerland at any given time throughout its existence. Mesolithic dwellings have been found just off the coast of Denmark along with dugout canoes, textile fragments and other objects left behind by people who were eventually displaced by the rising waters. Number 8. A Shark That Shouldn't Be There Scientists admittedly know little about the Greenland shark, which has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrates and is thought to live for anywhere between 250 and 500 years. That means that some of the Greenland sharks swimming in the world's oceans today may have been alive when the Founding Fathers of the United States signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Until recently, this enigmatic, seldom-seen species was thought to dwell primarily in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. At up to 23 feet long and weighing as much as one and a half tons, Greenland sharks are the largest known fish found in Arctic waters. But researchers' understanding of the creature was upended in 2022, when a specimen was observed in the Western Caribbean, thousands of miles from its typical northerly range. A team of researchers led by Devanchi Kasana accidentally captured it while tagging tiger sharks with a team of fishermen off the Belizean coast. They were unable to collect a DNA sample, but they snapped photos of the specimen and consulted shark experts who agreed that it was most likely a Greenland shark. Thanks to this wildly out of place sighting, experts are now rethinking their entire understanding of the Greenland shark's distribution. It seems as though these creatures never fail to surprise even the most experienced scientists, leaving them to wonder what they'll learn about the mysterious creature next. Number 7. The Yellow Submarine of Barbados Barbados is famous for offering some of the world's best diving locations, where visitors can explore at least 17 wrecks in the crystal blue Caribbean Sea. Off the island's west coast, there's a yellow submarine that tends to take divers by surprise. It's located near the Pamir, a German-built cargo ship that sank during a hurricane in 1957. The Yellow Submarine reportedly belonged to a property tycoon who owned land on Barbados. According to the story, he always wanted a submarine of his own, so he went ahead and bought it without thinking of the price of maintaining it. When the costs of owning the vessel got out of control, the man decided that it wasn't such a fun idea to own a submarine after all. 
Eager to get rid of it, he simply dumped it near the shore and forgot about it. Another legend claims that the man had ordered a customized submarine to show off to his friends when they visited him in Barbados. But it wasn't finished on time, so he had a replica made just to give them an idea of what the final product would look like. After his guests saw the replica, the eccentric businessman allegedly had it sunk to the seafloor near his yacht. It's hard to know which of these stories, if any, are true, because there's not much information about the submarine or its owner, including his name or when he tossed it into the sea. Would you ever travel underwater in a submarine? Tell us in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. The World's Largest Plant In Shark Bay, off Australia's westernmost point, a vast patch of seagrass the size of Cincinnati covers the ocean floor. Known as Poseidon's Ribbonweed, the 70-square-mile blanketing of vegetation is considered the world's largest plant. Some even argue that it's the world's largest living organism. It's roughly 4,500 years old and grows by cloning itself. Researchers made the discovery when they tested samples from 10 underwater seagrass meadows as part of a genetic diversity study. In an unexpected twist of irony, they were shocked to realize that the plants were genetically identical. Things only got more bizarre from there. Unlike most seagrasses, which inherit half of each parent's genome, Poseidon's ribbonweed inherits the entire genome of each parent, a condition known as polyploidy. It appears to be a hybrid species and has proven to be impressively resilient, withstanding extreme conditions including a variety of temperatures, salinity levels, and intense light. In an environment where many, if not most, plants would struggle to survive, this mysterious seagrass has thrived. Number 5. The Ancient City of Dwarka According to Hindu tradition, an ancient fortified city called Dwarka served as the home of the kingdom of Krishna. Upon Krishna's death, the metropolis sank into the Arabian Sea. Searches for the city began as far back as the 1930s. Over the last half century, archaeologists have uncovered numerous submerged artifacts, including stone blocks, pillars, and anchors, but they've not been able to determine the precise age of the objects that have been retrieved. Evidence indicates the presence of submerged settlements, suggesting that the flourishing port city described in ancient texts was, in fact, real. There are also traces of what could be the foundation of the city's wall. Although estimates of its age vary widely from as far back as 3000 BC to as recent as the Middle Ages. Depending on when Dwarka experienced its heyday, it may have played an important role in India's trade relations with the Arab societies. For now, Dwarka's true age is unclear, and its final days are also somewhat of a mystery. Experts have theorized that coastal erosion was responsible for plunging Dwarka into the sea indicating that its demise may have been triggered by a natural disaster. Number 4. Unidentified Indian Ocean Wrecks During an expansive search for any trace of the missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 plane in 2015, researchers discovered at least two previously unknown 19th century shipwrecks in the Indian Ocean. They first appeared on sonar images, and because they weren't what their discoverers were looking for, the findings were passed on to researchers who spent the next few years trying to identify the ships. Located roughly 1,429 miles southwest off of Western Australia, the two remote wrecks sit just 22 miles apart at a depth of more than 2.3 miles, making them the deepest shipwrecks ever found in the Indian Ocean. One of them appears to be a British vessel and may be the brig W. Gordon or the bark Magdala based on incomplete records from the time period it most likely dates back to. W. Gordon vanished with 10 crew members aboard during a voyage from Scotland to Australia in 1877, while the Magdala disappeared in 1882 while traveling from Wales to Indonesia. Evidence from the wreck site suggests that the ship exploded and sank while carrying coal, which may have caused a combustible buildup of methane gas below deck. The other wreck is believed to be a bark called the West Ridge, which vanished in 1883 during a voyage from England to India with 28 crew members aboard. 
It's unclear what caused the ship to sink, but its location indicates that the vessel may have been traveling in the direction of the nearest possible help. It's unlikely that researchers will ever definitively identify the wrecks, according to maritime archaeologist Ross Anderson, who told The Guardian that the project would require a major influx of funding from a generous benefactor due to the ship's depth and remoteness. Number 3. Mahabalapuram Shortly before the devastating 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami barreled into the city of Mamalapuram, the water receded to an extreme degree and a row of what appeared to be a man-made structure consisting of granite boulders briefly appeared. After hearing about the unusual sighting, archaeologists explored the area and found evidence of an ancient port city. Roughly 2,600 feet from the shoreline and roughly 27 feet of water, the team located a 33-foot-long wall, a small staircase, and a scattering of chiseled stone blocks. Many of the structures were reportedly covered in growth while others were heavily damaged, making them difficult to identify. But they appeared to be part of a larger building complex that experts believe is somewhere between 1100 and 1500 years old. The team also found evidence of older brick buildings which may date as far back as the Sangam period, which lasted from 300 BC to 200 AD. Considering how sea levels have steadily risen over the last several thousand years, it's not hard to believe that an ancient coastal town would end up underwater. But the discovery was especially significant because some believe it may be one of six ancient temples of Hindu legend that were swallowed by the ocean. Not all experts agree, and some even remain stubbornly resigned to the belief that the temples were purely mythical. But others have opened their minds to the possibility that at some point, legend and history intersect. Number 2. Mystery Warship In 2019, researchers discovered a visibly old shipwreck in the English Channel off the coast of Sussex. Its identity eluded them for the next three years as they made dozens of return dives to the site in an effort to trace its origins. In early 2023, they were confident enough to announce that they had identified the wreck as a 17th century Dutch warship called the Klein Hollandia. Built in 1656, the ship was involved in the major battles of the Second Anglo-Dutch War. While sailing from the Mediterranean to the Netherlands in 1672, during the Third Anglo-Dutch War, the Klein Hollandia was attacked by an English squadron. It sank with a load of luxury cargo, including Italian marble tiles and pottery, which ultimately helped researchers identify the wreck, along with a wood sample analysis and other evidence. The team also found bronze and iron cannons at the site. Given its historical importance, the site has been granted the highest level of legal protection available. Number 1. Ocean Forests the world's oceans are filled with sprawling kelp and seaweed forests that scientists are only now discovering the size of. Many, if not most of these vast expanses of aquatic vegetation, don't even have a name. Collectively, they cover an area larger than the Amazon rainforest and are roughly twice the size of India, according to recent research. The largest species of plants that are found within sea forests can grow tens of meters high. Just like terrestrial foliage, they undergo photosynthesis and provide nourishment and shelter to other life forms in the surrounding environment. Researchers have assigned names to some of the world's most productive sea forests, including the Great African Sea Forest and Australia's Great Southern Reef. These habitats grow at a rapid speed, with some sea forests in more temperate regions producing multiple times more biomass every year than intensely farmed crops like wheat, rice, and corn. Experts are hopeful that sea forests could play a role in mitigating climate change and combating food insecurity throughout the world, but are still admittedly learning about these mysterious environments. Thanks for watching. Out of all of these discoveries, which one did you find the most strange? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.